so excited because I just got my first job as a real teacher. I mean, I have wanted to be a teacher my whole life. Anyway, it's the first day of school, and we're in the auditorium, and the principal, you know, the auditorium, on one of those PD days that the kids have no idea that we have. Anyway, the principal, Mr. Carp, oh, hi, Mr. Carp, he says that we're going to have additional practice testing this year because we need to continuously assess whether the students are ready for the real tests because the real tests will tell the world whether we stink at our jobs or not. Oh, oh, and fun is over forever. <laughs> okay, go. Cool. Every day of the week we would prep for NCLB, NCLB, all day long. Every day of the week we would try to stuff in info, poor in learning, feel the drill. And I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see how I felt inside. Yes, I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and I tried. I tried. And everybody's going, brr, brr. I hit the benchmarks. I met the standards. I nailed the DRPs. And Carp turns to me and he says, OK, you teacher, what have you done? And I said nothing, I tested nothing, and he said nothing will get a girl transferred. They'd all done something, but I felt nothing except the feeling that this garbage was absurd. I said to myself, this can't be right. I became a teacher because I wanted to teach kids. Second week working out that we had to document the data, record each second, never breathe. Mr. Carp, he was stressed, he would come and visit my classroom, observe my teaching all alone. And I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see how my students felt. Yes, I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and my heart. They remembered nothing, I taught them nothing, they hated learning, which really makes me bad, and Carp was helpful, but I felt hopeless, until I really didn't know where else to turn, and Carp said to me, you know, teaching is only your first career, you'll have another one. <laughs> Went to church, went to church, pray Santa Maria, send me guidance, send me guidance on my knees. Went to church, pray Santa Maria, help me feel it, help me do it, pray please. And a voice from down at the bottom of my soul came up to the top of my head. Yes, a voice from down at the bottom of my soul. Here Plan. Ten years later I heard and see a